How you doing guys, this is Rodriguez Repairs here with another video and today we're working on a 2009 Buick Enclave. The symptoms that the customer is experiencing in this vehicle is that when it rains, the front driver's side and the front passenger side carpet become real wet. Another symptom that the customer is experiencing in this vehicle is that the electronic system regarding his windows, his locks, become faulty intermittently when it rains. As well as he could have the car running and he takes out the key and the vehicle stays running regardless if the key is in the ignition or not. So as we can see the customer is experiencing a lot of electrical issues and the front carpets being wet when the car rains so we know that there's some water intrusion happening inside the vehicle. We know we can have an idea that water is entering the vehicle in a spot where it's not supposed to. So what we gotta figure out is where the water is entering the system and causing um, modules like the BCM that controls the windows, the locks, and sometimes at occasions the immobilizer system of the vehicle or the security system or the anti theft system. So we gotta make sure that water is not entering these modules or the fuse box and causing a lot of real wacky electrical issues in the vehicle. So in diagnosing the vehicle, we noticed that water was entering through the sunroof ports that are located on the sunroof which go inside the vehicle and exit out through a plastic grommet and exit out the engine bay of the vehicle. In our diagnostic process, we noticed that those passages or those hoses that run from the sunroof to the outside of the vehicle were completely clogged. So what happens is the water has nowhere to escape so it builds up on the sunroof and starts draining from inside the vehicle internally through the dashboard, through the side dash on the bottom and through the sides. So in the fuse box we noticed that there was wet cables, um, we noticed there was residue of something that's wet and then dries itself and in the BCM as well, which explains why he's having these issues, these electrical issues at certain times when it's raining, because when the system is dry, there is no issues at all in the system. So we know it's water intrusion and we figured out that the sunroof ports were completely clogged. So I'm gonna show you how to unclog them and how to put everything back together so that this won't happen. So here we go. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is remove this trim here. You do that by just pulling it. You should just be able to pull it. Not too hard because you don't want to break the uh, clips. I'm trying to do it with one hand because I'm holding the phone, but what you're going to do is just, as you can see, there's a clip there and there's another clip under there. As you can see it, just pull out on it and it should come out, okay? Okay, now that you have that trim out the way, you're gonna get these uh, rubber trim that goes around the, uh, the door well. You're gonna take it out, like so. Just enough so you can liberate this um, section here, okay? Because we're only gonna take this part out. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pop these uh, covers out because as you can see there's a 10 millimeter in there and there's also one on this top one you can use a uh, scriber like this but make sure you do it real carefully you don't want to scratch the trim um, so just do it around the the edges until you can feel that it's gonna pop out and that way you can take this handle out uh, that's attached to the uh, actual chassis and we can start taking this the rest out guys after you remove those two bolts there this should just come out so like that okay be careful because the airbag is real close so um, make sure you can just pull it out so like that but you got to disconnect the tweeter there disconnect that plug and then this part of the uh, trim should come out 
Okay guys, so I can't really show you how to unplug this plug. I can just tell you how to do it, but can't really do the action because I'm holding the camera. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a scry bar and pick at this part right here. And that should loosen up the tab and then this should just come out. Okay guys, now with that trim taken out, you can actually see the uh, little hose that runs all the way down to a little grommet down there um, that goes all the way up to the sunroof. Um, so that's what we're trying to access. As you can see, we still can't really see it. So what we're gonna do is gonna remove this trim, this plastic trim in the back, okay? You don't have to remove it all. all you can just remove the, the first three clips or just as much as you need to so you can expose the, uh, the hose there. Lift it up as so. Okay, like I said, you don't have to take it out all the way because there is that um, the dash being bolted. So we just want to do it enough so that we can access this hose. I don't know if you can see it right there. Do you see the uh, little grommet there, the plastic one going up? Uh, if you actually if you can stick your hand in there, you can actually feel it with your hand. So our job is to unplug it from the grommet there. It should just come out if you pop it out and see if it's uh, clogged up with a lot of dirt or mud or anything that can accumulate over the years. Before you remove the grommet that down, that's down there, make sure you um, get a scry bar and pick at this to release this hose, that way it can give you a little bit more, more wiggle room. So when you take the grommet out, you know the hose can have more flexibility to come out. All right, so just get pick at this, and then this will open up. Okay, guys, and just like I suspected it, if you look at this plastic grommet, this is the one that goes inside, the one that we're trying to take off. I already took it out. Make sure you be very careful because you don't want to uh, break this uh, rubber hose or plastic hose. That's why I told you to take this um, this out so now we can give you a lot of flexibility when you're trying to take it out this little this little tight compartment spot. Um, but let's take a look at it. Look at that. That is completely clogged with a lot of dirt, mud, who knows, that accumulated over the years and that's causing this to get clogged up, but now the water has to still come out some way. So it's coming out through the uh, <clears throat> instrument panel and it's uh, making our electronics wet like our instrument panel fuse box and causing these electrical issues. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to unclog the passages that go to those hoses and the grommet out the vehicle. See, when the water travels in these areas, those hoses are there in place so that the water can travel and exit outside the vehicle. But with the, when these hoses get clogged, there's nowhere else for the water to travel, so the water starts traveling inside the vehicle and causing issues with electronics, uh, with the PCM that's nearby, fuse box, and can cause a vehicle to keep on running even if you take the keys out. So that's the customer complaint in this vehicle. So we're going to clean this up real good and put everything back. Okay, here's another view of that grommet that we took out earlier. Just wanted to see that grunk a lot closer, like in accumulating these hoses. So we're gonna clean that up by using this flathead screwdriver anything that has a point so you can really get in there and get all that gunk out like I did on mine here. This is a really critical process so make sure you get everything out of it. You want it as clean like brand new like here. So make sure you get that nice and clean. Next we're going to get a gallon jug and we're going to spray brake cleaner on the top of the sunroof ports and that jug is going to catch that brake cleaner so they won't go anywhere in the vehicle. 
and we're going to spray the hoses again hopefully releasing any remaining dirt that could accumulate and catch it with that gallon jug to clean the hoses even further I'm going to be using this brake cleaner here to do the job and it should get really clean once you're done you can assure that your grommet is clean and put it back on the hose and we're going to install the hose back make sure you put this plastic plastic green clip back on the hose because that attaches it to the body of the vehicle so it won't just be hanging out when you put the plastic trim on now that we put this back in place make sure there's two guides there you know this little panel has some plastic points sticking out that go into some guides here and as well as here so make sure that it goes in there flush so that way the uh, screws would be visible and the trim can go in there nice and and flush like it came okay the driver's side is pretty much the same uh, make sure you take you know the the panel on the floor out make sure you take this uh, trim out of the sides uh, the only difference is here you have this airbag plastic cover and the other side you had the um, the arm pull uh, here you just same concept you get a little uh, scry bar pick at this make sure you don't damage the plastic and then this should come out of so like this okay and in there you have a hidden 10 millimeter screw so then you take that out. 